Honored guests, lend me your ears. Long has our Fevremont suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word! Such an inspiring visage! Your Majesty shall have my eternal fealty! No Your Majesty, of oh, how long I have awaited this moment! Behold, before you sits the rightful inheritor of the Draken Throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold and rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present Pledge your allegiance to the Sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our legions reign when they are end. Long live the Sovereign of Ramon! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life, both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Now, which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Are you the one, then? Aha! I thought I recognized you. I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. 
Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. Get a move on! Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Mayhap I ought to be getting home. I'll treat myself. I'm surrounded by winches on all sides. Time for you to get to work. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing. The vicinity is quite cluttered. Pray leap. Oh, oh, oh. Job well done. Now the next step is to... What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. Should the battle turn dire, keep in mind that you do have recovery packages.
boulders and barrels and like. No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn.
Keep your distance, Arisen. Worry not for me. The grind may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a Rift Stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Where exactly is this jail you say you were staying from? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly naught like that here in Burma. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay, no, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen. Fie! Goblins! Let's take up your weapons, sir. You'll be needing it. scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Have you beheld the dragon? Yeah. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a rift stone. It is a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Well, I'll be. A pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. 
Fine. This is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Hoi there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. We must rest. Though the sun is still... I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. And if you'd like to change your vocation, Come see me any time.
Do come again. A flexible vocation, suited to bolstering our band where reinforcement is most needed. Fancy a gander? I find goods for sale. Not much going on. Fancy a gander? I find good. sale. Always a pleasure. Arisen. I should have expected you... I have a modest talent for spotting materials that can be used to enhance your equipment. It will be an honor to serve by your side. I have a knack for gathering items, and um, I hope I can count on you in a... 